morning or good evening, my fellow Chibits. Today, I'm going to bring all of you the weekly Tokyo Ghoul Re video. Now, before I begin, I just want to state it is 3.22 a.m. in the morning at the time of me recording this video. The chapter just came out, and honestly, I can't really go to sleep. Most likely, it's thanks to me drinking, you know, a little bit of coffee. You know, some Starbucks coffee usually tends to do that shit to me, so give me just a second to drink some. Ah, oh my god. Oh yeah. So, I'm recording a live reaction early this morning, and I want to be completely honest with you. I, I want to do a live reaction. I don't know if I'm going to upload this video or not, because it really depends if, you know, there's a lot of crazy shit that goes on in this chapter. And also, if there is a lot of crazy shit, depending on the information we get, we'll determine if I want to do a review or not. So, we'll have to see where the chapter goes. So, if there is going to be a review, most likely it's going to be later today, because... Obviously, I'm going to be going to bed really fucking late in the morning, so probably won't be waking up till around like 12 o'clock and then 1 o'clock, so yeah, it's already looking pretty miserable for me. But anyways, though, yeah. So if you're w w wanting a review, and if I am going to do a review, I probably won't have a review up until like late tonight or maybe tomorrow, for instance, Sunday. So with that being said, let us begin this chapter because I'm excited. The, the cover of the page is already showing Uta jumping in front of Suzuya, so I'm expecting a pretty fucking great chapter. So let us begin. Okay, no face faces off against the CCG's black sheep. Huh. GG. Okay, so Uta jumping down. Wait, what the f Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I now I may be tired. Actually, FYI, if I make any mistakes with this video, if I say anything wrong or if I don't notice something, please correct me in the comments below because I'm fucking tired. But uh did Uta just pull a Donato? That's exactly what this looks like. Look, look, look very closely at this, okay? Uta, which is in front of Suzia, and he's up higher than him, lands on the ground, and you see the step as he's walking towards him. And then all of a sudden, he's behind Suzia. Donato's reason for being fast, like, he's very fast, but he used misdirection to get behind Ure. However, judging by what I am seeing here from these panels, there was not really much in between Suzuya and Uta, so Uta didn't play any misdirection, trying to make it to where Suzuya was looking at something else when he should have been looking in another direction or something else that Uta was doing. So, holy fuck, that speed of Uta is incredible. I mean, there, like I said, we we never really seen this man's Kagane. We don't really know how his fighting style overall is, but we have theories about him. Many have theorized about his eyes, since you know he has his eyes dyed. Many have speculated that the reason why his eyes are dyed is not because they really died, but because his Kakugan is always activated because he has high RC cells. So we'll, we'll see where it goes. So let me get the next page. Okay, cover page. Give me the next page. Hmm, Susie, a good man. So Susie counterattacks and slices. It looks like he's slicing him in the throat. Damn, that's savage as fuck. <laughs> Damn, that is pretty fucking savage. He's cutting that man's throat. To be honest with you, if a character has to die in this, I preferably rather see Uta die. Now, don't don't get me wrong. I mean, I like Uta. I, I mean, he's an asshole. He, he's despicable how he's playing a lot of different sides. We don't really understand him completely. He's a badass. But out of both of these characters, I'd rather see Suzuya survive this ordeal. If someone has to die, I'd rather Uta die. I'm just going to be point blank with all of you. Anyways, so Uta got just stabbed. Wait, what's going on with... What's going on with Suzuya's foot? Okay, let me go to the next page. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy f Jesus. Susia. Uta is getting fucked up. He isn't. F wait. Oh, he isn't fighting. For someone not to fight back in TG, that's not good. No. That's not good at all. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. 
so Suzy is not letting his guard down, obviously. He shouldn't. If so, you know, here's the big thing. If Uta can get that fast behind Suzuya, and then he's not fighting back, it means Uta is playing with him. That's actually kind of fucking scary. Oh, shit. But what's going on with Suzuya? Is he... What is breaking on the ground? Why are you doing this? Oh, you're fucked. Uta, you're fucked. That's fucked. <laughs> Ishida? That's fucked. That, that's really fucked. I just... The emotions this have invokes in me. That's fucked. On top of that, Uta, that's... That's... Oh my god. That's heinous. That, that's, that's pretty fucking heinous. <sighs> oh my god. We haven't seen Shinohara since part 1 TG. Well, we've seen him in part 2, just as a, you know, a vegetable. He, he's comatose. So... The first time in a long time we have seen Shinohara's face looking alive, Uta's fucking around and making his face into it. That is the. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gonna fuck with Suzia. Because Suzia has went through a lot of character development because of Shinohara. He's changed a lot. He's calmed down a lot compared to how he was in part one. This is going to really affect him. Anyways, let me go back real quick. I think I know what this stuff is that's falling to the ground. If I'm looking at the... Yeah, it's the shoes of Uta. It's clearly the shoes of Uta that has that like stuff falling to the ground. I'm going to assume that is a part of his like Hogane. And as we do know... Uta does change his face, which we see right here, and as I've already said in my last video, Tokyo Ghoul, I'm assuming that the face change has something to do with, you know, Kagane, and as I've already stated, imagination plays a big role of how your Kagane looks, and so if Uta has a very good mind, and since he is a mask maker, most likely he's able to form his Kagane in a way that looks like a person what we have right here because we now know that you know Kagane can have some very interesting shapes I mean look at what Donato's Kagane looks like so what's to say Kagane couldn't you know make a, a, sh a face shape you know look like you know Shinohara so I, I truly believe what we're seeing falling is most likely the parts of the Kagane and it's like a detachable Kagane that you know Uto is putting on his face oh anyways let's continue on Juzo Mr. Shinohara oi oi Is he acting? You're fucked, Uta. You're playing with. Oh my god. He's playing with his fucking. You could see the fucking terror in his eyes. He doesn't even know what to. Oh, he's getting really close to. Susie, oh, that is not good. That's, that's not fucking good. If Uta's going in for the killing blow. Well. Thinking about it like this, if Uta could go that fast behind Suzuya, but then he wasn't fighting back, that would mean that he could have already have killed him. So there's another goal here. There's another point that, you know, Uta is trying to prove here. Unless he just wants to play with Suzuya and fuck him over and then kill him. I mean, we don't know everything about Uta, so. Still. He's rather close to Suzia, so... Yeah, that's not good. Easily a cog and he can just come out and just impel you. You're dead as hell. Oh, yeah. There's no need to be so... Oh my god. Ashida, chill. Chill. <laughs> oh my god. These mind games that is happening to Suzia. Oh.
No, 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 no. That is a scary fucking cognate. That looks like a fucking spider. Like, what? That looks like a... It kind of looks like spider legs or something. It, it looks like something I have seen before. It looks like a spider's legs. But I could be wrong. It looks like something I have definitely seen before from an animal or some creature. Maybe from a game or something. But the design of that Kagane looks very similar to something I have seen. I, it, I think it's a spider, but I could be wrong. But still, Uta, my boy, you're, you're, that's, that's despicable. That, that's pretty fucking despicable. Playing mind games like that with Suzuya, I've been doing, hmm. Please, Ashita. I mean, I, I'm gonna ask this right now. Please, please do not fucking kill my boy, Suzuya. P please don't, P please. Like, come on. You've already killed my Atto. You've already killed my Arma, okay? You, you, you've already killed two of um, my personal favorite characters. But please, do not kill Suzy. I, I really appreciate Suzy as character, and I love his development he's got throughout Part 1 of Tokyo Ghoul and then on to 2. Please, for the love of God, do not kill this man. <laughs> like, please. And I swear to God, if I turn this page and it goes to an another scene, I am going to be livid. Please, please don't do this to me. I, I want to turn the page... You're gonna continue this, please, pl pl please don't, don't do this to me, Ashita. Pl please, pl please don't. I'm, I'm gonna go to the next page. Please, please don't go to a new scene. Please don't go to a new scene. Please, please. Okay, it didn't. Oh shit! Oh yes! Wow! Yes! Ah, <sighs> okay. So he got saved. Thank God. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm so glad Ashida did not fucking troll me. Because normally, a normal mangaka would say, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to leave you on this cliffhanger. Let's go to the next scene. Thank you, Ashida. Thank you, base Ashida. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bow before you for not leaving me on a cliffhanger with this. Thank you. But that would mean that Uta was going in for the killing blow, though, because of the... Okay, so Uta likes to play mind games with people. That's kind of fuck. Oh, okay. He is but an illusion. Ow. He must be cut down. I am sorry. Suzuya, my cosmos. You cannot stain your universe. Come what may... Wait, what? The f okay, I I'm, I'm sorry. I was just dumbfounded there for a second. I was just, like, soaking up what he said. Okay, most likely it's because I'm too tired. Mikage, I am sorry... It brought up so many memories that I couldn't help but freeze for a second. Makes sense. I mean, he looked at Shinohara as a mentor, as a close friend, and maybe even as a father figure. It's not something you could easily face, so... Understandable. And it, it really shows development, too. That, that scene really shows a lot of development, actually, because... Remember what Suzuya did to uh, Shiro and Kuro? How he attacked them? And all that, even though he knew them from the past, he was friends with them, he's like very friendly. It shows you how much he's calmed down. He, he, if it, this was, you know, Suzuya in the past, he would have just right out attacked Shinohara. He would have, regardless. But I'm glad to see that it shows that Suzuya does have a connection with Shinohara. He really cares for him, but also he won't go out of his way to attack a friend like that anymore. He wants to know what's going on, so... Well done, Ashita, giving us that nice, good character development for Suzio, or confirming character development. Oh yeah, human humans entrust their dreams even to stars, billion of light years away. You couldn't help it. I always feel like I both do and do not understand the feats. <laughs> that smug face, Suzio. Nakarai. It's as we feared. Relay the plans to everyone. Understood. S3. Oh, so he had a plan in motion. There are humans mixed in among the clowns. Do not attack the clowns or refuse to fight back. They somehow managed to intimidate these people enough to force them to fight. I guess they're just trying to inflate their numbers. But, they now manage to make their opponents feel as though they've sinned. Wait, what? Oh, okay, well, 
They somehow managed to imitate those people enough to force them to fight. I guess they're just trying to inflate their numbers. Yeah, then, but... They now manage to make their opponents feel as though they have sinned. The guy who fought this up is a real piece of what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fat! This is fucking great! Fucking troll this man! Fucking... This man's face! Like, I wish I could see this man smile right now. I want to see that smug-ass fucking smile. That man's, like, probably all chipper. You just see that fucking... <laughs> This man doing some evil twisted shit behind the scenes and you just have them fucking talking about like the guy who fought this up is a real piece of shit And you just see for like <laughs> He's just sitting there laughing and shit that's, that's great. That's great. This is why Ferta is one of my personal favorite characters of Tokyo Ghoul This shit right here. He, he's a beautiful troll a perfect representation of a great troll Great character. Okay. Anyways Holy shit, Ure, your face looks fucked up. I'm just... Yeah. So we're going over to Donto versus Ure. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how... Hmm. Okay, so Donato dodged. Now it looks like Ure has lost his mind for the most part. Does that mean he's getting a Kakuja? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. We'll, we'll see. It looks like he's lost his mind, or maybe he's just blinded by anger. That That's also a possibility. What a pitiful child. Just because your father died, you continue to fight. Your misfortunes. All are your father's doing. Wait, your misfortunes are all your father's doing. Okay. No. Oh, look they blocked him. Holy shit. That face looks exactly... Like Kaneki. I choose this path myself. I choose to become an investigator. That face looks exactly like Kaneki's centipede. I could be not remembering it right, but there was a Kaneki panel just like this. Without, you know, both eyes being Kakugan. I could be misrem not remembering it properly, but I could have sworn there was a panel that looked very similar to that. And if it's not Kaneki, it's another character. I swear, I remember a panel that looks exactly like that. Anyways, let's continue on. I choose this path myself to choose to become an investigator. So clearly, he's not insane. So he's blinded by anger, then. That's why he's attacking like that. So he's not having a cockroach or anything for me. You fight till you're basically in pieces. You can't eat a thing. Wait, what? You, you fight till you're basically... Okay, you fight until pretty much you're completely broken... And you can't eat a thing, which you can't eat, I'm assuming, human food anymore. You choose to do these things. You wanted him to acknowledge you, didn't you? Wanted him to pat your head in approval. Oh shit, Donato roasting this man. And you tried to make those... Oh, I'm really smashing their surround. Huh. Absolutely futile. No matter how much you get promoted, no matter how grand of a... Holy shit, this man is exposing Ure! No matter how much you get promoted, no matter how grand of a legacy you leave behind, you will never feel whole... Holy shit. Because you do not have a real... F Oh my god. Donato, the Roast King. Like, can we can we change Donato's fucking name to the Roast King? Like, this man just fucking roasted Ure. Like, th this man just destroyed this man. Like, he ended this man's life. Like, he ended this man with that just roast. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> fucking Donato. Like, this man doesn't even need to fucking attack your ass to kill your ass. Like, this man, just his words alone just cut deeper than a fucking knife could. Like, damn. Yeah. Ure get pissed off and saying, shut up. Kuki Ure, allow me to spell it out for you. The only person you truly hate is your father himself. You've hated the weakling that died and left you behind. All this while... No... Oh... 
Oh my god, I see what she is doing here. I see what she is doing here. I don't know how many of you have already realized I'm just reading that panel. Page 13. But this, this right here, right? Links to Kaneki. As we know, the QS children are kind of like split of Kaneki's personalities. There's things that's happened to Kaneki, like Mutsuki, Ure, Saiko, Shirazu, all these different characters that are part of the QS squad, they are kind of linked to Kaneki. For instance, some of their actions or some of the things that's happened to them in their life are very similar to what has happened to Kaneki. And you can kind of say that each individual member of the QS squad is like a part of Kaneki's personality and what makes him to this day. And this right here is what has happened to Kaneki. And instead of being, you know, the father, I mean, or mother, my bad. Instead of being the mother, it's the father this time. And on top of that, though, as we know, Ure symbolizes power. He's someone that wants to move up and grow stronger, which kind of symbolizes some of the earlier stages of Kaneki in part one of Tokyo Ghoul. This right here, perfect example of that. And also links to Kaneki and his past. And how Ure must face it too. And one of the big things I noticed that Yoshida likes doing with this is really showing how some characters can make the completely opposite choice of someone else. For instance, as we know, Kaneki had a lot of choices. He had to make a choice of what he wanted. And also, a, no a big choice is when you don't make a choice at all. We know that. If you don't make a choice in Tokyo Ghoul, usually things tend to be chosen for you. And stuff can really turn out badly. And in this case, this is what we're seeing here. We're seeing... How Ure has not wanted to accept what he truly dislikes, or how he hates his father. And on top of that, how his connection is very much linked to Kaneki. Good shit, Ashida. I like that. I like that. It's not subtle, but I like that. Very good stuff. I truly appreciate that. And once again, another connection to the QS and Kaneki. So, anyways, continuing on. Man's so pissed off, he stabs Hanato. <laughs> this man just got fucking stabbed. He's like, the truth hurts so much. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> Straight for the fucking chest. Look at that. There, there. Hanato doesn't even care. There, there. There's no need to let it get under your skin. Is this fucking finger developing crossing? What the fuck? I mean, I know your Kagane takes shape of... Wow, okay, that's really cool. Seems I've lost a finger. Someone, haha, <laughs> please save me. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Okay, so he got st Wait a minute! Did he not get stabbed? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm trying to look at this panel here. Okay, Uri, he's bad. Looks like he's stabbed. It looks like it's going. He definitely is going through him. Unless that's an illusion, but no, it's, it definitely has to be going through his body, because next page. He's like, oh, I lost a finger. My finger's gone. Does that mean that he managed to block Ure's attack with his fucking fingers? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That power of Donna. Oh, that is not looking good for you, Ure, that is not looking good. Okay. Next page. So we're moving over to Kaneki's group. Okay. There's a foul stench in the air. And it's gotten stronger. There's no mistaking it. We're getting close. This guy's got the nose of a duck. <laughs> Was he actually even human? Kuro. Kuro, chill. <laughs> don't don't bad about this man. This man doesn't deserve that shit. This man's been tortured by uh Kano, okay? Just chill. I've been take or I've oh, oh I've been taking. I've, I've been taught the trick of reconnaissance before. It can't do it I can't do it as well as Hinami or Misa, but I'll try to check what's going on inside. There are researchers inside eight and all. 
Hmm. Huh. Oh, Kaneki is making noise through the fire. Oh, that's ingenious. Oh, good man. The lights. What in the... An outage. We're okay. We'll switch to the substitute power supply. I'm going to check the breakers. Wow. So he's leading that man out to get him outside. Hmm. Okay. Move and you die. Oh, shit. Damn. That's heavy. You ain't moving him. Oh, that man's face is like he's got the fear of God put in him. Holy shit. Yo, that man's face looks like he is. <laughs> that man's got the fear of God put in. Like you see the freaking eyes. His eyes like, like he's like, oh God. He's like, please don't kill me. <laughs> oh yeah. Six, seven, eight. That should be all of them. Just sit tight there. There's the RC suppressors, so it's inside that canister. That it, there's no way it could be that easy. Like why were they moved? Beep. The smell. I'm sorry, I don't feel so good. You okay? Oh, negative reaction to the smell of the RC suppressor. Hmm. Now that's very interesting. I like how Ashita showed that. Kaneki's sick. But Sato, he's really sick. Like, this man is straight up hurling. Which shows you how much pain he's been put under and how much RC suppressors were used on him. So, damn, Kana went savage on, uh, Sato. Just for him to have that reaction. I mean, we think what happened to Kaneki probably with the torture with Jason was probably savage. Then we see that. For Sato to be puking like that just shows you how much pain he was probably put under compared to Kaneki. He definitely experienced a hell of a lot worse, most likely. Oh, yeah. Damn it, you idiots. Well, it's not like that thing smells like da daisies to me either. But, seriously, though. This much suppressor drug, what in the world are they d Is there a lot of it? Wait a minute, let me go back. Did I miss something here? Yeah, there is. Oh, there's big-ass canisters all over the place. Rize... Rize 70... 79, 78, 70. Oh, shit, we're about to get some world building, aren't we? Some cloning is going on here. Or a lesser experiments with Rize's Kakuho put inside of him. Something like that might be... Oh, there's another one hiding behind a desk. Interesting. Everyone's future, they're riding on me. No, you... Oh, shit. Sato being savage. Like I'd let you. Give it your best, Chico. Chiaku, or however you pronounce it. Press. What the... What the fuck did you just do? Oi, that's... What? Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Just give me a moment. I need to take it, like, just like. Fucking all. That would mean if Almond is in the lab. If he's in this lab. And he's with the section with Rize. Obviously, experience. We saw the glimpse of it. She made sure we focused on that. That means, is that his eye opening eye? That is his eye. That is his eye that was supposedly closed completely. Well. Next issue, a showdown with Kotaro. Um oh. Okay, let, let me just, let me just discuss this real quick, okay? If Almon is here, that would mean 
that when Psycho crushed the man, he wasn't completely killed. And let's actually just go on a limb here and say they thought he was dead, okay? That would mean that CCG grabbed All Moon's corpse to experiment on it. To use it. Which we see here. And clearly he's still alive because his eye opens up. So he's not dead. And judging by the Rize stuff we saw going on, like the clones or tests or whatever, that would mean that Almond probably has the cockle of Rize put inside of him. Which explains why his eye is opening up. He now is no longer a floppy, if you get my point. He now is actually probably a true one-eyed or maybe an official a ghoul now. I mean, something like that. So, huh. The question is, for Almond to be like how he is, we know Almond knows the truth about the world. He knows about the birdcage, he knows about V, he knows about the washus. Why would he still be alive? Why would they keep someone like that alive if he knows the truth about how they operate? You know they have to know. You know they have to know. Why would they keep him alive? Hmm. His arm looks very fucked up, though, FYI. But, uh... So, Almond has been a guinea pig. So, does Psycho know about it? Like, did she not do the death blow? There's a lot of questions I have right now about this. I have a lot of questions. Why would CCG slash V Washus keep Almond alive? On top of that, how did he survive Psycho's crushing blow? Did Psycho try to keep him alive, or did he almost manage to survive it? On top of that, does Psycho even know that he's alive? And also, does this mean that he has Rize's Kakoho inside of him for him to be even able to open that eye in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to think on this. I'm gonna have to think. It's, it's, it's too fucking early in the morning. It's late, technically. I'm tired as hell. It's like almost 4 o'clock. <sighs> I'm tired. Anyways... I'm gonna end this video here. I'm actually probably gonna, you know, edit it and upload it and then go to bed. But, uh, yeah, that is, um, something I didn't expect. So, yeah, Almond is back. Oh, yeah, what does it say? With his name having been called, the man that was once the CCG's justice itself awakens with bright eyes. Huh. Oh, yeah. I will most likely be doing a review on this, just because of this right here. This, this entire panel is just, needs a video. But yeah, that alone needs a discussion at the very least. Even if it's not a fucking review, this needs a discussion. So, you all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe and have a great, great day. Chibi out.